things happened in uh, already 14 years ago in on 2002 those days uh, an Ethiopian shipping vessel came with about 10 containers of CAA coming from in uh, UK we saw that the packing was very weak and uh, you know those containers was on the container terminal leaking and when we saw those uh, labels, it was very dangerous cargo. So, uh, we observed during the unstaffing uh, many deficiencies, especially uh, poor uh, packaging, uh, packaging and uh, no lashing, no pallet. Uh, so, the chemical spill, the large chemical spill, uh, happened because of this uh, deficiency. The material uh, is called uh, chromate copper arsenate or else CCA. It is a highly toxic material and uh, also carcinogenic and its usage was banned within the European Union some years later. Uh, ce produit au fait est utilisé dans la conservation du bois ainsi que dans la, dans, euh, pour les poteaux électriques et puis pour euh, les, euh, les rails euh, ferrés. Ce produit euh, chimique euh, qui est l'arsenate de, euh, de cuivre chromaté est de nature dangereux, toxique et cancérigène. Suite à son mélange avec le sol, il s'est euh, stabilisé dans les micropores du sol, ce qui a changé radicalement sa toxicité tout au long euh, de son mélange avec le sol. Donc il est passé de la classification internationale de 6 à la classification internationale 9. Donc ce qui change radicalement la toxicité de ce sol. Several experts from UN organizations they were mobilized at that time in order to provide a solution. They managed to collect both the contaminated soil and the liquid pesticide and they contained it inside the concrete basin that was constructed for that reason. With that way, they managed to give a temporary solution to the problem, but at least they minimized the risks both to the environment and also to the people of Djibouti. So uh, this was uh, uh, a very big issue to the Djiboutian uh, government as well as to the Ethiopian government. Because this issue uh, is usually raised during the Joint uh, Commission uh, meeting. We have a periodic meeting between Ethiopian government and Djibouti government. So uh, this problem is always uh, raised during this meeting and uh, uh, so uh, we understand the problem and try to uh, find a solution. Et ce travail a été fait en collaboration avec deux États l'Ethiopie et Djibouti. Donc après 14 ans, nous avons mis en place d'abord un comité qui a suivi et après beaucoup d'études, finalement nous avons trouvé à contracter euh, Polyeco pour justement euh, essayer d'exporter de, la solution qui a été trouvée, d'exporter euh, les produits euh, qui sont stockés au niveau du port de Djibouti. In order to ensure uh, the minimization of environmental risks, a special tent was imported from EU and was erected uh, in, on the field in order to secure that no dust will be uh, generated and be transported outside the tent and all works will be actually confined inside the tent. Dust suppression systems were also mobilized in order to ensure the safety of uh, our works and at the same time we imported special laboratory and uh, protection equipment in particular air-powered respirators to increase the safety of our personnel. And we also conducted an extensive air sampling plan in order to assess both the contamination of the dust particles but especially also to assess the air quality since heavy machinery such as excavators were in operation inside the tent. The 
the works were conducted in compliance to strict health and safety standards, in particular the U.S. has Hooper standard. We faced uh, several difficulties. We are not aware of what type uh, of material we will face when we demolish uh, the basin, since there were no data available for the actual contamination of the waste. The repackaging and excavation works took place in summer, where actually the temperature were exceeding 40 degrees Celsius outside the tent, and inside the tent it even reached 60 degrees Celsius. So it was impossible for our personnel, especially taking into account the fact that they, they should wear protection equipment, to work under these circumstances. So what we did is we scheduled night shifts in order to finalize the excavation and repackaging activities, which we managed to finish it within two months. Actually, more than 4,000 tons of contaminated waste were repacked and stored at a designated area inside the port. At the same time, we conducted extensive sampling activities at the areas that were considered contaminated. All the samples uh, were sent uh, in a third-party accredited laboratory in Germany for chemical analysis. We also have mobilized uh, portable equipment, XRF analyzers, in order to be able to monitor the contamination of heavy metals on the field. As soon as the export license in compliance to Basel Convention was granted, we organized the arrival of a special box-type cargo vessel at the port of Djibouti in order to conduct the loading activities. We managed to finalize the loading of more than 4,000 tons within three days, of course working on a 24-hour basis. Then uh, the waste were transported after some days at the Portuguese port and finally at the facility of hazardous waste treatment and landfill uh, in Portugal. While preparing for the project of Djibouti, we made use of our network of European facilities in order to decide which one was the most suitable one for this specific project. Uh, the criteria for that was logistical, technical and financial. In the end we concluded to Portugal because uh, they had also the availability, the capacity to receive all the quantity at once. The treatment method is basically landfilling. Uh, but in order to fulfill the criteria of the legislation, we needed to apply physical chemical treatment first. O, o negócio com a Polieco previa a recepção de 4 mil toneladas. Nós fizemos essa recepção durante uh, duas semanas na unidade que vem atrás uh, e durante a próxima semana vamos iniciar o tratamento do resíduo. Nós vamos proceder ao tratamento do resíduo, efetuando numa primeira fase a redução do crómio e depois eh, adicionando cal para atingir a pH que permita a deposição no aterro. Após o tratamento, vamos depositar o aterro de acordo com eh, o previsto na legislação. This is the place where more than 4,000 tons of contaminated soil was stored for more than 12 years. Despite harsh weather conditions, Polieco managed to finalize in time repacking activities, restoration of the site and exportation of the contaminated soil to Portugal. So, for us, we are really satisfied de ce qui a été fait par la société Polieco dans le cadre de ce projet. Et nous avons pu regarder avec les résultats obtenus sur le site que le site a été totalement décontaminé et que nous souhaitons dans le futur collaborer avec Polieco qui est une société euh, expérimentée dans la gestion des sites contaminés, euh, si nous sommes amenés à, à, à répondre à d'autres questions euh, de cet ordre-là. 
I think this is a very good in experience for us, and especially our young in doctors or young in specialists in the port are learning from this kind of company. I can also tell that this company is really an expert on this field. We saw that these guys, they are handling the job like everybody who is an expert on his field is handling the job. And it was well done, what I can say. It was well done. We feel very happy that we managed to, to provide a sustainable solution both to Ethiopia and also to the Republic of Djibouti. Actually, our satisfaction derives from the satisfaction of our clients and uh, our partners in Djibouti. So we appreciate uh, so the collaboration, working together, solving our problems in Djibouti. So we are happy in any case. Donc c'est le fruit de beaucoup d'années de discussion, de travail en commun que ce travail a pu aboutir pour qu'on puisse enfin aujourd'hui libérer l'espace occupé pendant tant d'années par l'arsenic de cuivre de, cro de, de chromate qui était stocké au niveau du port de Djibouti. In general, the performance I have seen there, uh, I really can witness uh, that it is a very efficient and professional work. And I wish uh, also to continue working with Polyeco in, um, in, you know, not in uh, actually in this kind of <laughs> work because, you know, we have learned a very big lesson from this one. Because uh, when we import such chemicals, we really have to be very, very careful. You know, uh, the, the sea transport, the loading and loading, you know, it requires its own, uh, you know, way of doing, uh, doing it. So uh, we really have learned a lot from this one because it is not an easy job, this one.